What up, YouTube? YouTube. <laughs> You've never watched Joey Oli. What? Don't, don't talk to. I've never watched any YouTube. No, what up, I YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What up? No. Custom grow. Did I hear? Ten. Leaving the door open. Yeah. Just leaving it for Mark. Cause I knew it was coming. Yeah. No, I will. All right, guys. Well, today is a new day. Russ, so far, he's put on the heads. He's torqued them all down. He got it all the time. New cam and new, new front cover. Everything is brand new thanks to this beautiful guy right you here. You stole my front cover, too? You have to. <laughs> <laughs> but everything is looking pretty good. Today, me, Matt, and Mark, we actually have to run to Long Island. So these two beautiful people, they're going to be taking over the job here. In fairness, yesterday I was like, hey Russ, what can I do, man? He's like, nothing. I'm like, you don't want me to do anything? He's like, no, just stay out of my way. <laughs> all right, man, well, that, that's So he just you. didn't shut up all day. To yeah, so <laughs> then we, off. yeah, so then we just talked to him and distracted him. But anyways, if you come over here, I didn't know that I needed a new water pump because I kind of just bought the LSA. I never put it on or anything. And as we were putting the LSA supercharger on, we noticed that the truck water pump, instead of the outlet, coming out forward, it actually goes straight up. So it's literally just going straight into the supercharger. So Max ran to the parts store yesterday. He grabbed me a new water pump. We have the new water pump gaskets there. We've been having a nightmare with my brakes and it turns out they were just never adjusted properly. Um, we're just idiots. I don't, that's all I'm gonna say about that. So we got new drums and Russ is gonna make sure those actually work cause um, you know, we suck. And we got new springs, all of that. What else did we get Max? Anything else? Oh, oh, that's it. But I do want to mention one thing. Hold on. So right here, we have the indestructible cam. Next video, we're going to be picking one of you guys that purchased a poster, and we're going to send this to you. If you want this indestructible cam, I literally want to send it out to one of you so you can film yourself breaking it. Matt will put up some clips right now. Oh! Holy. Russ and Mark tried breaking this thing. You guys know cams usually are like pretty brittle. Like you drop it. It'd be so funny if it broke right there. No. As I was dropping, I'm like, <laughs> as I was dropping, I was like, this better not freaking break. But I want one of you guys to get this. Film yourself doing it. If you can break it, you're gonna send it to Matt on Instagram, and we're gonna actually post it on the video whenever you break it. So if you're interested in that, I think it's just a cool thing. And if you want a little shout out on the YouTube, you can go over, purchase a poster on the website. With that being said, my buddy Russ, he's going to take care of the supercharger. What are you, what are you thinking uh, by tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, I want it running. Ooh. Oh my God. Well, that's kind of crazy because if we're doing that, that at our shop, it probably would have been two weeks. Yeah, even the live audience would and nod. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. Like sitting back, relaxing, and drive to Long Island. You know what I mean? We'll you know, you and I, away. you and I both know the <laughs> drive to Long Island is not relaxing. It is not. It's not. But it's, I actually rather be here working on the car. It's a challenge. I love road rage. <laughs> You go that road rage? Yeah. I don't yeah. like his road rage. Oh, no, I don't get that kind of road rage. Okay, do it. What we're driving okay, is not comparable to what yeah. we were he's yesterday. He's just gonna be chilling. And he, I can tell he's like a chill, relaxed driver. I'm yeah. like stressed the whole time. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not gonna get too far into it, but Max almost killed us yesterday, right? That's fair to say? Okay, Raging on the road. I had to beat Vosco. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is I was in the back seat, pretty much crying, and I was like, Max, stop, stop, Max. Like, I was slamming his shoulder. <laughs> And he's just sitting there giggling, <laughs> playing f***ing chicken. But I was in another car and could still hear them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was ter it was actually the scariest it, you moment of my life. Way bigger deal about it. It was literally Matt. something. That was uh, a normal drive. Couldn't feel my legs. I all, I honestly the almost, adrenaline rush. I almost crazy. threw up. Yeah. Like I thought we were gonna we die. We had plenty yeah, of car lengths between us and the car. I hate both these motherfuckers. With that being said, we'll see you guys Monday, which is right now. So uh, this is 
probably the weirdest auto zone I've ever been to. This is like the only auto zone around that has the right water pump we need because we got the wrong one again. I don't know, Z, ZL1s, they have like two water pumps or something. I don't like know exactly what's going on, but apparently the one in the Bronx is the right one. Oh my God, it's popping here, dude. Dude, there's like cars that are being held together with expanding foam out in front. They're doing a full rebuild engine. in the parking lot. Yeah, dude, this is actually kind of wild. It's kind of sketch. Yeah, it's a little sketchy. Like, I'm used to sketchy, and this is sketchy. Yeah, no, it is definitely a little sketchy. There was, what, like 15 people out front or something? Well, there was an accident, and it looked like somebody was trying to mount a tire on the yeah. side. Someone's like... car is jacked up, like, in the road. Dude, there's a Miata with no engine. In Someone's just riding a dirt bike around. There's trash everywhere. New York is just... I'm just waiting for the Chargers and Challengers to start doing burnouts. You coming in with me, dude? Yeah, I'll be your moral support. Yeah, thank you, dude. dude I got you your back. Got the, the Matt, Matt's like, I'm staying in the stay car. Here. I'm scared. You can. There's a You're lot of pussy, expensive dude. stuff There's here. a lot of expensive equipment back here. Dude. All right, whatever. Look, I got a flashlight right, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the door. Just no, just stay in the car. We don't want you to get hurt, man. We don't want you to be scared. It's fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, big news. The Supercharger the LSA Charger is officially going on right now. We had a few minor hiccups and stuff that we had to like fix, but all is well at the moment. This looks crazy, dude. And big shout out to Max, because he keeps finding things around the shop. He's just like, oh, like I'm never gonna use this. Let's just give it to Rodney. I'm like, okay, You're like, yeah, all right. So we got these. What are these? These are like the Holly things? Yes. Holly yeah. Valve yeah, they hide the coil packs. They hide everything. So it's literally going to look. I wonder. It's not going to hit the booster, you think, right? Did we test these? I haven't test fitted it fully yet. Yeah, because I'm kind of looking at it now. Like, I'm kind of hoping to. Oh, let's, let's just test fit it now before we get carried away. All right. Let's see how we look here. Oh, nice. we're money, dude. Hell dude, yeah. that looks, and it looks so sick. fire. That looks, sick. that looks really I'm cool. hyped right now. It's kind of crazy. Like, just putting the LSA charger on, like, this thing looks like we're about to start it up now. Uh, still got a bit. We, we, <laughs> we still have a lot. Like, we got to put the injectors on. We got to. Oh, oh, yeah, no. Show them that. <sighs> Music to my ears, dude. How loud is that going to be? Decent? Should be good. I just, I can't wait for the wine, dude. I'm so excited for the wine. Yeah, no, it's gonna sound crazy. The only wine that's good to hear. I think this might be my coolest vehicle I have. Oh, when this is said and done, like this thing is gonna be a ripper. Once we get rid of those drum brakes, I hate those things. All right, so while Russ is messing with the supercharger, Mark and I were just gonna put the TR6s. Yeah. Yeah, TR6 spark plugs in. Might as well just put some brand new ones. Do you have the gap for a supercharger? Boosted application, yes. Yeah, okay. So what are we doing? 20 thousands? What's that in color? Color? Yeah, you guys are so old. You talk color? about Color? What does color mean? Color. You guys are so old with your imperial sh You're talking black and white. Whereas, <laughs> come to a color TV, mate. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. What do you usually do? Uh, 0.65 mil. 0.65 mil. Yeah, that. Yep. So it's that like purple? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking blue. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah, we're it's doing. It's ultraviolet because you're off the spectrum. <laughs> yeah. All right. So violet it is. We're gonna bust these down to violet. All right, a little progress update. She's coming together pretty well. I ran into um, a little problem with this whole hidden gem right here. These spacers aren't really long enough. You can see that the bolt's not actually bottomed out here. And these bolts right here that are actually underneath the coil packs, they're hitting the coil pack. And I think over time, it may just kind of damage it. So I think we're just gonna run the stock ones. I was gonna try to run spacers with these, 
but now the bolt isn't long enough to add a couple spacers with that spacer as well so the whole thing's just kind of a little bit of a nightmare yes it's super cool but with everything else we need to figure out like extending the gas line and making an upper radiator hose and figuring out wherever the hell this thing goes like there's a lot of other things which that's not really important. We can just run the stock ones, throw the coil packs in, and it'll work perfectly. It's a bummer, because it's gonna look good, but what are you gonna do? As we dive a little deeper, we realize there's more and more things we have to do. So on the LSA, the map sensor is right here, and our map sensor sadly only goes this far. So that needs to be extended. The throttle body, it, obviously it fits, kind of, but you can see how close it actually is to that pulley right there for the supercharger, so we're gonna have to figure that out as well. Thankfully, the mass airflow sensor, that's kind of good. No, that's actually really good. Weird thing about this kit, the alternator goes here. The power steering to fill it up is right below the alternator, so I think you have to quick disconnect your alternator to fill that up. It's weird, but I mean, I guess that's pretty easy. It's just two bolts, not that big of a deal. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of little things did, did you find out where that IAT sensor was? Uh, be in the map. Oh, gotcha, okay. We're figuring it out, slowly but surely. I feel like everything I look at, there's another problem. So, I went to go put the alternator, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'll put the alternator in which one. Do you think we'll ever be able to uh, open that power steering cap? No. No, <laughs> not at all. And you can see that we're almost on this top hole right here, but down there, we're not even close, so. We are hitting the battery tray right there, and we gotta cut it. Don't love that we gotta cut it, but thankfully um, we didn't paint the engine bay, so it would hurt a lot more if we painted it. This is, um, it was, dude, we can't even put, we, we can't use that cover. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. use that cover. Yeah, so regardless, we couldn't, then we were thinking like, okay, maybe we can still use it. We just find longer bolts, whatever. Um, but now, I mean, you can see this is clearly not going to work. So yeah, there's a, a lot of different weird problems that you just wouldn't know until you touch the car, but that's part of building things. Things really escalated quickly. We went to lunch, we're like, you know, like this thing's going pretty good. Like there's not really, we figured it all out, all the puzzle pieces. And now there's about 17 more puzzle pieces. And this is involved. Okay. This is a sketchy one. Mm. You don't like that? Yeah, I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't think I can do it like that. Can I do it like this? You'll prove no, that? Because it will kick towards you. Well, I was going to kite over here. <laughs> it will kick the whole tool back towards you, gotcha. not the sparks. I mean, you can kind of do this, but it's gonna hit that. Be back. Oh, oh boy, we're really getting ghetto here. Well, I can't lie, I hate this. Can't lie, that hurt my face a lot. Tasty? Tasty, very tasty. I kept my mouth shut that time. I think we're just gonna hammer it down. Did Steve Buscemi make that top cut? Did you just speak English? Steve Buscemi? You don't know who Steve no, Buscemi is? No, do you? No. Well, maybe we might need to freaking... Relief cut? It's pretty thick down yeah. there. Yeah. Do a relief cut. Oh, yay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do another. No biggie. Another no, one. No biggie, dude. Another one. Was that the reference you were making? Yeah. You good? Everyone happy? Of course you know DJ Khaled and not Steve Buscemi. Shut up. Have at it, champ. Hey, Chris. I hope you like body work with some engine bay stuff. <laughs> when in doubt, bang them out, you know what I mean? I'm glad it's not painted. <laughs> Imagine it was painted. <laughs> so, yeah, just got this sick truck painted. Drop the base. Yonder Should we be showing this? An angel. In Colorado, bro. We got a V8 with a supercharger on it with things that we just bought. You know? F you. Okay. You. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to mute all those now. We're, oh, we're on to bigger, better yeah. things, pal. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> you. you. <laughs> I swear, I'm not wearing the sunglasses to be a I promise you. Oh, in other words, you gotta cut out. Oh, yeah. Wow. 
No. <laughs> I did that one on purpose. Dude, we are money, I think. I don't know what we're gonna do about this though, because these wires are positive. We can't really be touching the all time with positive. Oh, well, it's wires. plastic, it's just iso it's isolated. You can't get, you're not gonna get the plastic in there. Thank God you're the editor, huh? What, what Cut do you mean? that out and go from each side. And you like... see, and that's why he's the mechanic. Did you just hear that genius idea? What wire? You shh, shh. Okay. Is, is that hole lined up down there? Yeah, we're good. It'll come up a touch. So then we just have to do that. Probably heat shrink it maybe, so. Yeah. It's got like double insulation. Double up. Yeah. Double wrap. Double wrap. I don't think that's actually good for you. No, it's terrible. I'll go try it. <sighs> we're getting our butt kicks, dude. Yeah, nothing's going really right. So, we're trying, like, we keep running into issues, and we're like, you know what? Let's just, like, worry about the issues later. Let's just do the things that we can do that we know is easy, right? So we're like, we know these aren't gonna work, right? So we're like, let's put the stock valve covers on, let's put the coil packs on. We'll run it, right? Mm -hmm. You know what doesn't fit anymore? The stock the, valve covers? The coil pack bracket. Oh. So now we need to cut the whole bracket, mop the whole thing up because the fuel rail sits much different than the stock fuel rail from the truck manifold. So the coil pack sit way too high and it wants to shove itself in the fuel rail. So now we need to like drill some new holes, cut some things, cut some, let's say cut some things twice, cut some things and there's a lot of time consuming things that really aren't that interesting. So we're just going to end the video here. It's actually going up right now. Uh, we probably would just continue to film, but sadly we just kind of ran out of time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just know that we're, we're trying here. What do you think, Russ, about this whole thing? It's been very tedious. Very tedious. A little more tedious than we thought it was going to be. Yeah. For sure. Like, I th honestly, I thought, I don't know why I thought this, but throw the LSA supercharger on it. You got this nice fancy bracket, get a new belt, couple pulleys, a new water pump, and uh, she's ready to go. Way well, she goes, 600. Obviously, obviously that's not the case. You were saying it would have been easier just to what, turbo it? At this point, yeah. <laughs> Which, it's crazy. I really thought we were just kind of swapping a manifold, running some heat exchanger lines and calling her a day, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you want the cam, that's probably still on the ground. <laughs> it's still on the ground where we left it the other day. You want that? I think the coolest part is just like you'll be featured on a video and I actually want to see one of you mother break it. So that being said, I keep saying this goodbye. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.